Welcome everyone. So today we're gonna to focus on how to integrate go for clients to a WP Forms from your um, WordPress uh, site. And so um, I think before I jump into go for clients like I always do, I first wanna extend this presentation or this video a little bit because I really wanna show you the details of what you need to have first in place uh, from WP. All right, so the first thing guys is you have to make sure that when you have a plan from WP Forms, the only plan that is allowing a webhook integration is the elite plan. So you can see here I have, this is the WP Form site, and all I did is just to show you that uh, when you scroll down from all the features that they have, the only plan that allows for webhook integration is the elite plan. So guys, you have to have that plan in order to do integrations via webhook, right? So with that taken care of, let me shut that down. Let's go to um, WordPress. Here's my WordPress dashboard, typical. And of course, I'm assuming that you guys already know how to create your forms. You already have the um, WP plugin, uh, which is the one that I'm um, using right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on all forms. And here are the forms that I've designed for my site uh, with WP form. So here it is. I'm gonna show you how it looks. This is the actual site that I built using WordPress. It's go for test. This is just for me presenting this demo to you guys. And here's that WP form. So as a, as a customer, as a lead, this is what I would see. This is the form that I would see. I can, let's just erase all this prior filled out data right here. And this is the empty form. And so this form, to see that I built it with WP uh, forms. And all I need to show you guys is that when you build that form using the plugin, very familiar to you guys, it's a drag and drop of the fields. You build this, this is what you're gonna see. But the important thing is that we need to go to the settings. Once you've constructed your form, you, you're happy with what you've designed, you need to go to settings, right? And here's the settings part. And in the settings part, make sure you look for webhooks. Sometimes it appears right here up on top. Sometimes it's further down. Just make sure that you have webhooks. And in that webhook, this is what you would see. So I'm gonna play like if I've never done a webhook before, I could just say add a new webhook, give it a name, you know, you would uh, give it a name, whatever you need it. And here it is, you know, this is the webhook that you would create. And so it requests that we put a URL. So this is what we're gonna go ahead and start with Go for Clients. So we're back, this is Go for Clients. Um, very simply, just log in into your account. Once in the dashboard, you could go to the drip section via my drips here on the toolbar on the right hand, top right hand side, or just using the icon right here from the dashboard. Let's click on that. And when you're here, choose templates. And we're gonna choose, we're doing forms through webhooks. That's what we want. We have Facebook lead ads. We have a bunch of other templates. So make sure to save time. You just go straight to what you need. And today what I'm gonna teach you is how to trigger um, an email to your lead or to that customer and also trigger an internal notification for your sales team or your call center people um, through an email. But as you can see, we have um, calls, we have SMS. So really all the possibilities already covered for you. Um, choose whatever. What I'm gonna teach you today, you can actually following the same steps just as easily build any of the other drips. So once I've chosen the one that I like, I just click on use template. And it's gonna trigger from webhooks. The only thing it's asking me is what is the email that I'm going to use as the sender email? I'm gonna go ahead and choose my work email for that and click on build drips. And that's it. This is the beauty of Go for Clients. It immediately pops up a pre-built drip. I don't have to really do anything. And I just need to configure some of the settings, which is what we're gonna do right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, click on start here and it's going to allow me to configure that webhook unit. Here it is, it's now turned uh, fully orange or you know reddish, whatever that color is. 
And what I see here is that we have the link, the URL, the webhook URL. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And so what, what, what I'm gonna do is after copying it, I'm going to go to where it's requesting in the settings, webhooks where we were before for WP, that I input that webhook um, URL. And that's it guys, when I do that, um, I suggest that here you're going to use a post request method, that's what we want and then leave JSON as the requested format. All right, that's what we're gonna use, JSON. Um, everything else, that's fine. All you need to do right now is then save this, all right? Now, I'm not gonna save it as a new one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue uh, with the one that I had before, which is exactly the same. And right here in settings, in the webhook section, I am just going to go ahead and change this URL to the one we just pasted. Perfect, guys, there it is. And again, just save it. So once it's saved, now in Go for Clients, now that I've done that, I can get to the next step, which is it's waiting to connect to that form. And so it says waiting for data. So what I need to do is kind of trigger the form uh, and so that GoFor go, uh, receives that information. So what I'm gonna do is, this is my actual website, GoFor Test. It's the website that I built from um, WordPress and where I have my form. And what I just chose is the WP form, right? That WP form, if I click on that, this is what's showing as I said before. So let's fill it with the information, with the new information so that I can see if it connected. Let's use all my information. Juan Osorio, here's my phone number. I'm just gonna do uh, some type of message here, demo, and that's it. I'm gonna click on send. When I go back to go for, what you're gonna see right now is that, um, that I'm going to get the data from the webhook and, and the WordPress form. Let me just make sure that I did save here, that I went back to, um, my my contact form right here because if I don't do it sometimes it doesn't take up so don't fret we just need to fill out that WordPress form one more time prefill it with all my information let's do this again demo and send it now that it's correctly saved now perfect so I just I needed to really go back to the form and not just leave it in that without saving because it, it doesn't take. So right now you see that I started receiving the data. I, I mean, go for clients. You can see that it turned into green data received. So that interconnection is done. So this is great, very simple. Now I go to the next step, which is actually mapping uh, the fields that I'm going to need. That meaning that the information that I get from the form that I map it so that go for clients can use it, right? Because we're gonna trigger that email, we're gonna trigger that notification to my sales team, for example, and I need the information. So associating those fields is really easy. All I have to choose is, for example, that the name field is coming from a field that's called name. That's pretty straightforward. The email that I need, I'm gonna choose it from an, uh, uh, an email field, etc. You know, there's a mobile field and I did call one of my fields mobile and that's showing me the exact information. So that's super easy, right? If you needed to put more fields or include more fields because your form has more, you just can use the plus sign and add more tags as needed and then map it to the uh, information that you want. This little I is always for popping up that C data to just make sure where the information is being or how it's being associated to the different fields. As you can see here, everything's pretty um, much well organized. So that's it guys. Next is go to actions. And in the go to actions, really I wanna to go to the notification first to configure that notification. I'm gonna go ahead and send it to my email, uh, work email, but if your sales team or your call tenor or whomever marketing team had another email address, you would just put it here and send that email. And also you can see that we do have SMS options, voice calling, those would be on other videos. But again, just using these steps that I'm teaching you, you could actually choose how to do those. Um, the only thing, of course, if you're sending an SMS, then here in the destination, you would have to input a phone number or a mobile number. Uh, any of the fields here you can change. The actual layout of the, of the um, email template that we're using can be changed by clicking change design. 
and you can just go to the different templates that we offer or maybe you even designed already a, a, a form of your own you could use it right or a, or a template of your own right now I'm happy with my choice I'm just gonna go back and all I need to do is finally configure the email if I needed to do that this is what I would do it I'm happy with everything but I just wanted to show you that you can change the subject whatever you guys need just fill out as required but if everything else is fine um, I'm not gonna change the design either you same instructions as the notification so I'm ready just to save this drip it's ready to roll let's give it a name I'm gonna say it's a webhook for WP forms and uh, that's it just save it you're gonna see here that very quickly go for clients is going to show me that now I have an active drip called um, what I did webhooks WP forms and let's test it out right so the way to test it out is let's go back to my form and let's fill it with information that's real life information I'm gonna play the role of a lead and I'm gonna say hey my name is uh, John and my email I'm gonna use my work email once again because I want to make sure that I've received this and show it to you guys this is my phone number and then uh, requesting a demo for example all right so cool I have all the information I fill it out and what we're gonna see now is the um, actual drip from go for clients taking over and let's see I'm gonna share it with you guys here's my inbox and I'm gonna check for a new email and you're gonna see in a few seconds here that the drip is going to start sending me information and I remember that I'm playing here both uh, both roles I'm playing the role of the lead that filled out the form and I'm also playing the role of the internal um, of the internal team that is receiving that notification uh, to alert me that a new lead has come All right so perfect guys so now I start receiving those so as you can see let's go with the first part I have a new lead a notification and it says John is the guy that filled out the form he gave me his phone number so I received that lead fantastic that lead alert and if I am the actual um, lead that filled out the information it's saying hey John welcome and uh, you know whatever information you wanted to give me the quote that I requested or whatever it's going to show up here but you can see how quickly and immediately everything happened and how easily it is to integrate the WP uh, forms for, uh, with go for clients uh, I hope you enjoyed this guys and see you on our next video Okay, let's 